go hit it down there. He didn't look happy. He didn't look happy either. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, it's a good view. Don't know what f***ing happened there. Right, we've just done the best possible road and now we are bailing out. Andrew's hit something and his wheel is hanging off pretty badly, like really badly. I hit the same thing, my car's alright, but he's um, where your ball joint is on the bottom, it's ripped apart, I'll show you. Let's have a look, yeah, shall we? So we've got to wait for the ROC. I want to see, I hit something as well. Oh, right. I heard a massive con because I thought I might have just gone on the side of the curb. Yeah. And then when I heard the noise, I thought, I don't know, that it was me for a sec, or something had come off mine hit you. Yeah. Or something, I don't know, but. This is the bit that has been broken off. What Do you we've want got to here? explain here? Yeah. It's the broken bit, it's the broken bit. This broken bit usually goes around there and attaches, and it's normally attached there. You see? Yeah. And as it's hit the rock, it's just ripped off. Just sheared it off. Pulled the ball, pulled the um, drive shaft out. But it looks like drive shaft and lower arm all right, so we're going to have to change that. Pump's going to need repairing, obviously, because you can't exactly glue that or weld it. No. Uh, so, um, not good. No. Not good, we can't. Unfortunately, all the tools in the world aren't going to fix no. that. And we brought a lot of tools that will fix a lot of things. <laughs> no, I turned the one thing that we're growing But out. it's not going to fix that. No. Uh, now, what, what did we hear? We hit something up here pretty f bad. Well, a bit at the end of these skid marks. That's it. That's what we f***ing hit. Big f rock. This is what done it. Must have just literally clipped it. It's f ripped off my wheel. Well, at least we don't have to bail out for a really crappy reason. Yeah. It is, well, it's not, but it is, it is um, adventure ending damage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, film all the skid marks up to the thing. I'm on hold now. Okay. Well, not good. Adventure over. So unfortunately there's no room in my car. Well, I can't even fit a tent in my car. I don't know if it's I've got to go as well. So that's it, over. So um, Lord Andrews just went down to the town. The recovery truck went down to the town. He's got to go down, walk down, meet him. I'm waiting with the car because my battery's completely flat from having the um, the beacon and my um, morning lights on. So the recovery truck's here, so that means I can start my 
journey back. If I drive straight home, it's seven hours coming to Satnav, um, 416 miles. And the thing is, I've already been driving six hours today, and I was feeling quite sleep drowsy and dodgy earlier. I'm just waiting for Andrew to come back from the recovery truck, and um, let's we'll see what happens. My car is getting recovered. Let's do the car. Let's do it. Hold on. Hold on, dude. Give it that. Right, I've just got the car started with Andrew's battery, luckily. So I'm going to head down to somewhere decent to stop, take a break, have a drink, and I'll make another video then. Right, I have made it to the end of stage two. I've arrived in Kenmore. Andrew's battery started my car, luckily, so I've got down here. I'm sitting in a car park. I'm going to leave the engine running just for a little while because he had his hazard lights on for a while. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop here and have a bit of a rest. I'm going to try and leave early enough so that I get out of the upper part of Scotland in the daylight because I know what the roads are like around here because they can be major roads but they can be crap. So I'm going to walk around, I'm going to do videos I walk around and I'm going to take a few pictures because I'm up, while I'm here and stopped I might as well and then I'm just going to slog, slog it back home. Quite spectacular views actually. Um, I've taken a photograph, you can see there's an amazing view out there. Um, so I'm going to go for a little walk around the town because uh, I need to find a little local shop. So I'm not sure if that's right to be honest. Um, it's like a plan, there's a few plan villages and they're just set out in little, they're like a main road, it's all set out in little squares, which is just like Milton Keynes where I live. So, but Mountain King is way for its time on a much smaller scale, you know, the grid road system. Kenmore is a small village in Perthshire in the highlands of Scotland, located where Loch Tay drains into the River Tay. The village dates from the 16th century. It and the neighbouring castle were originally known as Balloch. The original village was sited on the northern side of the river, approximately two miles from its present site, and was known as Incadney. In 1514, Sir Colin Campbell of Glenochy started the construction of Ballock Castle on the opposite bank of the river and the entire village was moved to a prominent headland by the shores of Loch Tay, hence the name Kedmore, which translates from the Scots Gaelic to mean big or large head. The village as it is seen today is a model village laid out by the third Earl of Breedlebane in 1716. The River Tay. So here we are, got dropped off by the first recovery man uh, and now we're waiting for the next one who is hopefully going to take us to Milton Keynes but it doesn't sound like they will so probably going to get transferred to someone else later on Yeah! Recovery to uh, relay race with my car Just 
about to leave Kenmore. It's 20 past five now. I've got 415 miles to go, which is gonna take seven hours non-stop. So that means I'm gonna get there at about 20 past 12, half past 12. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm gonna to have to stop and sleep in a few service stations, etc. So I found a local shop, I brought some red bull to try and at least get me out of Scotland. I've got a bit of chocolate, some pepper armies left over from yesterday when we brought them. Right, I'm going to have to get going pretty soon, I guess, and try and get out of Scotland before it gets dark, because um, Andrew said the A-Rows are alright, but they're not amazingly wide. I don't want to have to be concentrating loads in the dark on those roads. I just want to get onto some bigger, normal A-Rows by the time it's dark. Progress report. I've um, made a pit stop at Annandale Water Services, which is about 30 miles north of Carlisle. So I'm pretty close to the border now. Done about 140 ish miles. Um, estimated time arrives is 1 o'clock now, four and a half hours, although it is going to be later than that. Um, I had to pull over for a little while, I was a bit tired. I've got myself a double espresso. I've got Red Bull here just in case I do start lagging while I'm driving to get me to another service station if I need to. It's going to be a f log just because of how much driving I've already done today. Chuck number two, 
They obviously couldn't find a driver to take me all the way out to Mount Keen, so they gave me a car. It's a Mazda. Take fourth exit to Georgian Way. Diesel. Apparently, it drinks the oil a little bit, but it seems alright. service station um, time is 10 to 10 not long after I pulled in Andrew got here he wasn't far behind me and then um, had some big Mazda people carrier that he was caning down the motorway and then he realized his keys were still in his Audi which is in Carlisle being fixed so he's driven back to Carlisle and he's hopefully on his way back here so we're gonna stop chill here just for a little while before carrying on as far as we can get I don't think I'm gonna get it all in one run again it's still like 250 miles it's a long way I've had quite a bit of caffeine as is I've had three Red Bulls and a double espresso two more Red Bulls here the espressos are doing a bloody good job though so I might have to go and get another one of those before I leave here but yeah Andrew shouldn't be long hopefully it's been <laughs> quite a good bit of drama it's <laughs> mad we should be chilling at um, Nairshire at the moment um, chilling in the tent but no We've had to abort. So yes, phone diary, part whatever. I uh, met with Daniel, because he's randomly near, right near where I got the car from. We're driving back, it's now half 12. We're going to go back about three in the morning. So that'll be like a 20 hour day. I feel like I'm going to die, hopefully I won't fall asleep and die, but if I ever do, I'll try to record a video of it. We've got 150 miles to go, just made a quick pit stop. So I needed a wee and a bit more energy, so about 150 miles, so hopefully we'll get that done in one, one lot now, and we'll finally be back. So, uh, Vote Diary, our car update, this Mazda MPV thing is sh it has literally no power at all, uh, but you know, it's getting me home, so I guess that'll do. Fire support, we've stopped north of Birmingham because there's road signs saying that Junction 8, the M6 is closed. Um, so we've just pulled off just to check alternatives um, because we're going to need to find an alternative and hope and the alternative is M5, M42, M40. So that's what it's going to have to be. So hopefully this isn't going to take us too long.
that's it, we're back. That was long, that was long. So, here we are, back at the lab. We got up at half five yesterday morning, started driving at eight o'clock in the morning, and it's now four o'clock in the morning the next day. And we've just finished driving. And we've only just got back. I feel like I'm gonna die. I'm going to sleep and, uh, until the rest of my holiday's over. <laughs> yeah, probably. Then go back to work properly. <laughs> yeah. Right, so. <laughs> hope you enjoyed our adventure. And. As much yeah. as we did. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget to subscribe because cool people subscribe. That's it. Alright, a bit.